none of our African bishops, African reverends and apostles will be able to ad address all this gender-based violence that is happening in the nation of South Africa. Simply because some of them are also perpetrators of such things. Some of them are also people who are doing such things like this. But today, I want us to come together. I want us to come together as Africans. I want us to come together as nations and put our hands together and begin to pray to the Lord. There is a healing that is required for the nation of Africa, for the continent of Africa. There is healing that is required in the nation of Nigeria, in the nation of South Africa. All these ritual killings that are happening in South Africa, they must come to an end in the name of Jesus. All these killings of women that are happening in the, in the, in the nation of uh, South Africa, they are abnormal. They are not from God. They need to be addressed spiritually, both physically they need to be addressed. I believe it is time that for the church to begin to rise, other than preaching more and emphasizing uh, uh, on prosperity and emphasizing more on certain things uh, that do not glorify the name of Jesus and emphasizing more on fundraising and other things. I believe it is time to teach the boy child how to respect a woman and how to respect and how to take care of a woman. All this gender-based violence that is taking place in Africa, that is taking place in South Africa particularly, it must come to an end in the name of Jesus. It must come to an end in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It must definitely come to an end in Jesus' mighty name. Enough is enough. Enough of killing of women in Africa. Enough of the killing of women in South Africa. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. How much blood are you going to swallow? Enough is enough. How many rituals are you going to perform? Are you, how many things are going to happen? Oh my God. The South African women are living in fear. The South African women and the African women are living in fear simply because they do not know when is it going to happen to them. It is time for the church to arise. It is time for the church to rise and begin to address such things. We say no to gender-based violence. We say no to gender-based violence. We say no to the killing of women. We say no to the abuse of women in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No matter what a woman can do, you must never raise your finger on a woman it is not permitted it is not allowed a man is supposed to be a protector of women not an abuser of women a man a real man is supposed to be a protector of women only a coward only cowards will go and, and take out all their strength and all their power on women if you think you've got enough power and if you think you are a man and you've got enough strength and you've got enough power go and face other men it is very sad what is happening in Africa Nigeria it happened in South Africa it happened and I declare tonight in the mighty name of Jesus that it must come to an end enough of the abuse of women enough of the killing of women enough of gender based violence in Africa enough of the killing of women in South Africa enough of the killing of women in Africa in the mighty name of Jesus enough is enough enough is enough in the mighty name of Jesus father we pray for Africa thank you Lord thank you Lord Jesus enough is enough enough is enough Africa belongs to God it is time it is time for the African woman to be protected in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for all the African women. We pray against the killings of women in Africa in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare and we decree an end to all this gender-based violence in the mighty name of Jesus. It must come to an end. It must come to an end. Any man who raises his finger on a woman is a coward. Any man who raises his, his fist on a woman is a coward. Any man who raises his hand to slap a woman is a coward. Africa needs to know and Africa needs to understand that a man is a protector. A man is a shield of a woman, not an abuser of a woman. In the mighty name of Jesus, we cover all the African women in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We cover all the African people in Jesus' mighty name. 